going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the ripple edit tool, the rolling edit tool, and the rate stretch tool here in Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you learn anything from these videos, subscribe to my channel because I'm constantly putting up new videos about editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started. Let's head down to the timeline. And you'll notice I've placed three clips here in the timeline and I've colored them each individual different colors so you can see the adjustments made as we go. And I'm gonna show you the simple long way to do edits, and then I'm gonna show you how those tools I mentioned before will benefit you. So let's go up here to the toolbar, which is the section right here to the left. And I'm gonna click on the selection tool, which is keyboard shortcut V. This is just the standard tool used a lot to, to kind of move clips around. But if we wanna edit a clip, say we wanna cut it to this place in the timeline, we wanna shorten it. If we go over to the corner at the edge of the clip, you'll see a red icon change, and it's gonna point in the direction, you see the left arrow. If you're moving here to the right, you can shorten it that way, back to the left, and then it just shows you which direction you can shorten it. But I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna slowly start bringing it towards my playhead. And you'll notice up in the program panel that you'll see the clip on the left moving the numbers, and the one on the right is not moving. So that's just indicating that we're not moving the middle clip, which is the boardwalk clip, but we are cutting down the clip with the boat, which is the one I've grabbed a hold of now. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna let go. You'll notice it leaves a black gap here. So it didn't do anything else, it just shortened the one clip. And then you can grab these and then move them over. And if you have a lot of items in the timeline, that's gonna be really hard to constantly grab all of them and move them. So I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna show you where these tools come in handy. So let's go to the ripple edit tool first. So just below the selection tool, one, two, two down, so it's the third one down total. If you click on it, you'll see three different options. So you can see we have the ripple edit tool, which in brackets you can see a B, which is the keyboard shortcut. And then there's also the rolling edit tool, which you'll see the keyboard shortcut is N. And there's also the rate stretch tool. And normally there's an R there, but I've changed my keyboard shortcuts to use it for something different. But on yours it should say R. But I'm gonna grab the ripple edit tool first, keyboard shortcut B. You'll notice the little icons changed on the mouse. It's no longer the arrow. So I'm gonna hover over the edge like I did before. And you'll notice now the icon, instead of red, it's now yellow. And that's just indicating that it's the ripple edit tool is working. So I'm gonna grab that corner and I'm gonna bring it down like we did before, just to the playhead. And remember last time it left that big gap? As soon as I let go, it pulls it all together. So you don't have to grab the clips and move them over. And like I said, if you have 40 clips, that's a big lifesaver. So you're not constantly going down there grabbing more and bringing them down, bringing them down. It just saves tons of time. So that is the ripple edit tool. So I'm gonna undo that. Now let's head to the next tool inside that same box and it's the rolling edit tool. And you'll see the keyboard shortcut is N. So you now notice the icon is a little bit different. So now this has two arrows pointing on each side. Now this is meant if you grab the clip in the middle, you'll see the bar connects both of them. And then when I go to move it to the left like we did before, you'll notice in the program panel, now not only is left picture number moving, you'll also notice the right picture number is moving. See that? So now what this is doing is this is shortening the clip on the left and it's extending the clip on the right. So it's not shortening and bringing it together, it's extending it. So now you notice this yellow is much longer. So I'm gonna do it on this too. So now I'm gonna grab this corner and I'm gonna bring it to the middle. And you're gonna see that this end here does not change. So it's not, it's not sliding it down, it's extending this clip. So I'm gonna grab it here. And you see I'm gonna slide it down. Do you notice on the right, it's not moving at all. So now it just extended, so it shortened this clip and it extended the green one. So let's do that again. Let's roll it over here. Now this is the end of the yellow clip underneath, so that's as far as we can go. But that's how you do the rolling edit. Now let's click on the rate stretch tool. Over here. And remember the keyboard shortcut is R for that. So now if we grab an end, you'll notice here it says this clip is at 72.43 speed. If I shorten this, now you notice it says 190. So now we just sped that up. And you can also slow it down by stretching it out. The rate stretch tool just lets you speed up a clip or, or slow it down. Now you can also just click on it, right mouse click, and go to speed and duration, and say you want it at 200 speed. You can just do this way and it automatically shortens it. But the key about the rate tool like this is if you have, say there's a gap here and you don't know exactly 
how to, how much to slow that down to make it fit there. You can just grab the rate tool and just slide it to the point. So you don't have to guess, oh, it's exactly 83.11% speed. And once again, I'll do that again. So I'll move this over here. So this big gap. So instead of like trying to right mouse click speed duration and guess what the percentage is to slow it down to fit that, you can grab the rate stretch tool and just grab it and it'll automatically slow it down to that point. Now it's at 48% speed. So that tool definitely helps when you want to slow down a clip or stretch it out to fit exactly in between two clips. So you're not, you're not having to guess what the speed is. Now, one other thing I'm going to show you, which is a lovely keyboard shortcut. So those keyboard shortcuts are to activate those individual ones. If you're working with the selection tool here and you hold down the command key, which is command on Mac or control on PC, as soon as you hover over, it automatically turns into that rolling edit. And then if you hover on the side, it automatically turns into the ripple edit. Now you notice the whole thing will move down. See? So if you hold down command, it'll activate whichever one you're working with. So if you're in the middle, it'll activate the rolling edit, which will make it roll. Or if you're holding that and you're on the edge, you can do the ripple edit, which you'll see will shorten it. Hope that explained the ripple edit tool, the rolling edit tool, and the rate stretch tool. And if you could thumbs up this video, I'd greatly appreciate it to help with the YouTube algorithm. And like I said before, if you want to learn more about editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly posting new videos. Anyway, thank you so much and have a great day. Later.